what's going on minus the games here with a tutorial slash review of AMD's game DVR come out a few days ago and um, just doing a quick like review or you could say tutorial of it just going over the settings and stuff um, so yeah this is the interface of the program um, you get your twitch streaming your broadcasting so let's have a look at that um, you obviously get your game DVR there and play there um, I've not tested the twitch broadcasting yet I've heard it don't work it gives errors and stuff so I'm not testing that yet um, obviously you get your bit rate frame rate and uh, resolution looks don't know what that is audio and all that shit um, you log into twitch there and you, you can do hotkeys so that's about that um, so don't know where you put your oh no you just log into twitch don't you so, um, that's that um, now you get the game DVR um, I record my settings on high you can do medium and low low's got 10 megabits per second or t 10 megabytes um, 30 fps 480p medium 30 megabytes per second 30 fps 720p and high is 50 megabytes per second 60 fps and 1080p and this is your replay so say you're recording uh, well no not you're recording say you're uh, playing a match and you get a triple headshot or something like that you get a really good clip um, you can press like your hotkey what you've set up to, to the replay length or replay whatever um, <clears throat> and you press that and it'll record the last 10 minutes or last like whatever second you've got it on here like 60, 600 is 10 minutes so um, that's your megabytes per minute um, and yeah you can do custom so you can go up to 50 megabytes per second 60 fps 30 fps and 15 fps 1080p 720p or 480p and then you can obviously change that as well and the good thing about um, AMD's game DVR and Raptor whatever you want to call it um, is if you've got AMD drivers installed which you should have because most people do if you're not then you pretty much out of luck because you don't know what you're doing with a computer but um, you should have your drivers installed and uh, the good thing about it is it's always running so if you're in a game you don't have to open any programs or anything like that to um, start off your recording you can always have it running in the background so as so long as you've got it running then it's sweet um, that's a good thing about it and you, uh, you get your game settings and all that the interface has changed since this has come about now so obviously that would have happened anyway um, you get your drivers you can check if they're up to date optimize your games get your library um, obviously at the moment Battlefield 4 you've got to run it in 32 bit and you have to disable origin in game overlays otherwise it doesn't run properly you've got to run the 32 bit to actually get the uh, game DVR to detect the game and then you've got to disable the origin overlays or when I was figuring it out, if you don't disable the overlays, then the game like goes down to one FPS, and it'll basically just be unplayable. You can't even get into the game. I couldn't anyway because it was going that slow. Then I disabled Origin overlays, and then it was fine. Um, the performance is minimal. There's hardly anything on the performance. Um, and it's really good so far obviously it's only in beta so um, you'll get more performance out of it and hopefully better options and stuff like that in the updates in the future but um, yeah that's about it um, if you're having problems with it or anything like that just leave a message in the uh, comments below I'll do my best to help you out um, it's been uh, minus the games and I'm out peace